Redmi 13 after Redmi 13C. Like, guys, here is the Redmi 13, a successor of the Redmi 12 from last year, which was a screamer based on its price and specs. There was the Redmi 13C that was earlier announced this year, which I felt the Redmi 13 right here should have come before the Redmi 13C, which is quite low in specs. But maybe they have their reasons. Now, is the Redmi 13 a worthy upgrade from the Redmi 12 or Redmi 13C? And will it also cause a lot of traffic? Now, in this review, we'll be going through everything from unboxing to specs, design, camera, and overall performance to know if truly the Redmi 13 right here is a worthy upgrade from the Redmi 12 or Redmi 13C. Guys, as usual, let's roll. So, Redmi did well when it comes to packaging, as we still have almost everything inside the box. Starting from the TPU case to the SIM ejector tool, charging brick, and even the cable, and also the beautiful ocean blue color phone itself. Now, what did they miss out on? The only thing they should have included in the box is the earpiece, as this device has a slot on top for it. But it's all good, and we appreciate them for helping us save extra cups. The Redmi 13 is quite a beautiful device, but it's nothing cut short from the Redmi 12 of last year. The difference here is the replacement of one camera with a flashlight, which works perfectly. I so much love the looks and design of this device. It feels classic as it comes with glass on both front and back. The frame is made out of plastic, and this ocean blue color I have you with me is quite adorable and so far i can't find any fingerprints on it there are other nice colors to choose from in case you're not the lover of this one i have here with me on the left there is a slot for your dual nano sim card and a slot for your sd card as well moving on to the right is where you'll find the rolling rocker keys and the power button and the power button also serves as the fingerprint scanner which is quite responsive when trying to unlock this device on top of this device there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and next to it is an eye arrow blaster. Most of us know the function of this already, but for those that does not know, the eye arrow blaster can be used as a remote to control most of your home appliances, like TV, air conditions, and the rest. And finally beneath is a mono speaker grill, a charging port, and a microphone. Redmi really paid attention to details as you can find it here on the camera range. They had to incorporate the silver finishing on it to make it stand out, and it did stand out. The back feels smooth and the overall phone weight is light and comfortable to roll. This device is built to resist splash and dust to some extent having an IP53 rating. So you don't have to tempt yourself by submerging it into a bowl of water. With that being said, I feel this iPhone looking Redmi 13 deserves a C for build quality and design. Regardless of its 5030 mAh battery capacity it comes with, it also comes with a 33 watt fast charger inside the box. This battery is sustainable and durable, but it all depends on the user. It won't require a lot of time to charge it from 0 to 100, I presume, since I haven't tested it out myself. Using the power source from the 5030 mAh battery capacity to put up this device, it was very slow and the startup process took so much time. But here we are with its 6.79 inch. LCD having a resolution of 1080 by 2460 pixels density. The front display is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass and by default, it comes with a 68 refresh rate which can further be adjustable to 98 for more fluid and user-friendly experience. This display isn't that bad for consuming medias and other screen activities, but the bad side which I'm really concerned about is its 550 nits peak brightness. Like guys, I can barely see anything under the red sunlight. I was thinking Redmi actually came up with an upgrade, but it is no for the display. It is actually the same display we got from the Redmi 12 of last year. For beginners, the video quality might be nice and enjoyable, but for advanced users, trust me, this is outdated. But compared to its competition, it is far, far behind. Now, the processor would have helped out in this situation, but its Helio G91 Ultra processor that it comes with didn't do much. To me, it lags a lot, opening of apps takes a lot of time, and the worst part of it is its booting time. The processor can handle light games and daily activities, but don't over push it. I wasn't delighted with it at all, that's why I didn't bother to build it up. This device comes with Xiaomi new Hyper OS with Android 14. There are different RAM and storage variants, but the one I have here with me is a 6GB RAM 
which can be expanded to 12 gig and also the 128 gig of internal storage which can further be expanded with the use of an XD card. For cameras, I feel there was no need for an increase in numbers as the Remi 13 still serve the same pictures as the Remi 12 of last year. I thought the 108 megapixel main camera was coming to play the Remi 13 ahead of its game but the reverse is the case. Images were just there and you need a lot of sunlight to achieve this shot. Selfie on the other hand were not bad and the images were a bit acceptable. Guys, please do check it out and give it your own remark in the comment section below. So, to round things up, I am not pleased with the Redmi 13. It might have been slightly upgraded from the Redmi 12, but it is not significant enough to be called an upgrade. Now, comparing it to what the competitors are offering, like the Technos Pack 20 Pro, Infinix or 30, and even the newly released ITEL all having the same price range of about 200,000 Naira, the Redmi 13 is a no for me. But if you really love this device and you want to own one, I will leave a link in the description below where you can purchase your own. So guys, thanks for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends and most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. Till next time, bye and bye.